Hello there! Welcome to the third part of the Project Aurora. In the previous part we actually printed the first piece and assembled everything together. And today we will continue. But as I told you, um, I cannot continue with uh, the part 2. We have to actually go uh, to the back and basically do the engines. But because um, there aren't that many pieces and all of them are kind of big so it's kind of time consuming but there are not that many pieces I decided to do the part 3 as well so basically this is what we will do today and uh, now we will take a look uh, in details so first we will take a look at the engines themselves so it's done all in the same manner so this is one big piece this is actually a 13 hour print that as you can see has attached all those same pins 10, 10 times 10 and then we have the second part this is only 12 hour pieces uh, sorry 12 hour print and it does have those same pins here on the sides. Now it also have these holes here and that's for the second part uh, second type of the of the pins that we already used for the front and for the uh, retracting leg. Anyway, here we have one side and the other. Yeah, so it simply goes to through those pins and it has its own holes for you guessed it for the pins but anyway here we have those small pins that I mentioned and here we have the part that goes there which is the this techie part now I have to admit that uh, I kind of did the painting scheme a little bit different than is here uh, all those parts are silver those parts are black and this is basically reversed the inner is uh, silver and this part is black so yeah, I might update the model but I think that I will most likely leave it like it is anyway now we attach the pins here and the only remaining pieces are the engine themselves so one and two and as you can see they are basically just inserted to those pins and that's it so as you can see there is not that much to actually explain that is why i also chose the part three and part three as you can see is even simpler so basically we have this part We have connectors, the same type of connectors. We have the second part and then four wings. And that's it. The wings are inserted into the groove. Yeah, as you can see, it has no, such a groove. And yeah, and that's it. So quite a few pieces but unfortunately quite long pieces uh, to print quite long to print so okay this is this is actually it and now uh, obviously this half goes through to the part four and the uh, bottom half on it too and when it claps together it holds the entire back all right then I guess that's all. I know it's kinda uh, short, but what can you do? Anyway, let's go straight to the printing. Okay, here we have all the parts printed. So now we actually assemble it. As you can see, I already inserted all those pins. Yeah, here, here, and here. I didn't want to waste time with it. Okay, so let's start. Okay. So it is now connected. I actually uh, it didn't go so easy. So I in the end, in the end uh, removed four of the pegs 
so that I am actually able to even put it together because it was so tight that it was really hard. Anyway, now we will continue. So we will take this piece and insert it here and simply put it there. The same with the second part. Okay. Just like this. Now we will take this piece and insert it. Okay. And now the engines. One. Okay, so that's the part four. And now the part three. I will not attach the wings yet. First, I will attach it to the actual piece because maybe there will be the same issue. Yeah, I will probably do it right now. I will remove those three just to be sure because it was really, really hard to them together okay so as you can see I removed those three pins so now this is the easy part but now will be the hard part to actually snap everything together but yeah this is what I was afraid of but Uh, though it doesn't move at all there is this little gap but I don't think I can do anything about it now also I see that the paint doesn't really match which is kind of bummer because as you can see it's already painted orange and I don't really want to paint spray it again but well, that's a minor thing okay and now the only thing that remains are the wings okay so it's attached and this is the rear part of the, of the ship yeah this this gap is really something I don't like but well yeah I'm afraid nothing I can do about it right now I can also uh, of course uh, in the models I will make a little bit of uh, tolerance there but that's just about it I cannot do more about it yeah it's starting to be quite heavy okay so if we take the part one obviously we are missing the whole middle piece but Okay, so I guess that's all uh, from this video um, and we'll see each other in the last part when, when I will do the middle and connect everything together and we'll see if it stands on its own and if everything is okay. Alright, then have a very nice day and bye bye.